Hi, I'm Dan from Dissum, and today we're going to go through how to properly fill your lighter. In this video, we're going to run through how you have to fill your lighter the first time that you fill it, and also if you've been using it and your butane's just running low and you want to fill it or top it off, we'll also run through how to purge your lighter. Before we get real close and start focusing on the details of how to fill your lighter, let's go through what type of butane or lighter fluid is applicable. We do get a lot of questions to our customer service on what type of butane or what type of lighter fluid is able to be used with our Dissum Premium Lighter. And you would be actually very surprised as to some of the inquiries that we get. What we recommend is that you use a standard butane that is a very high purity. Usually the higher purity, the better. Now we will be launching our own Dissum branded butane, which is optimized to working with our lighters. But right now available on our website and what we recommend is the Zycar's high performance butane, which shows, you know, very optimal usage for our lighter. It also works in a high temperature and also high altitude situations. And it has a really good burn consistency from what we've noticed. Do not use any type of lighter fluids, the Zippo fluids, the Ronasols, or, or all of those things that you pour. And also stray away from any uh, non-high purity butanes. Also, you want to buy butane that comes with the standard butane nozzle, which I will show you right now. It'll just have a plain nozzle, and not to get confused, many butane cans come with additional nozzles. You're not going to be needing those, so don't get confused when you do buy your butane and you have some of these additional nozzles sitting there or on the inside of the, uh, the can. So now we're going to get real close and show you guys step by step how to fill your lighter for the first time. Okay, so we are going to be filling my Santorini Blue Dissum here. Now, the only tool that you're gonna need for this is a very small flathead screwdriver. I have this little Husky. Um, the first thing that you're gonna do is you are gonna take your, uh, your flame height adjustment circle here, which adjusts the height of the flame to plus or minus. What you wanna do is you wanna take that and you want to turn it all the way down towards the minus so that the flame would be minimized. Now, since this lighter is fresh out of the box and has not been filled, the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is locate the butane filling port, which is on the side of the lighter, right next to the butane level indicator window. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to have to take that little flathead screwdriver and you're going to want to push on that little pin to relieve any back pressure within the butane reservoir before we give the lighter the first fill. So we're going to locate it. We're going to feel it right there and it's on a little spring. And we're just going to push it down and hold it and then let it back up. It's just a little valve. So now that we've relieved the back pressure from the butane, we are now going to be ready to fill the, the lighter for the first time. So here we have our standard nozzle, butane, that you can see. And now what the key is gonna be is to get the whole of that nozzle to line up with our little butane filling valve that you can see right there. So we want the hole to cover that and then we want to push down onto the butane bottle. Now, once we get those lined up, we want to be as straight up and down as possible, and you just want to hold it down for five seconds to allow the butane reservoir to fill. So let's go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to push down and hold straight up and down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the butane settle and monitor the indicator window to see that it starts turning red, which will indicate my butane level that I have filled my lighter. So as you can see now, my butane is stabilizing and the red level is going up here in the butane indicator window, showing that I now have a butane level. Let's go ahead and compare that to an empty tank, which you can see does not have a red level there which means that it is out of butane and needs a fill. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our flame adjuster down, we're gonna come over to our ignition, and we're gonna go ahead and push it. 
And as you see, we got a little spark. That's gonna clear, as long as it's still down, that's gonna clear any air bubbles or butane bubbles out of the system. Now we're gonna turn it up about halfway. And we're gonna hold it. We're gonna play with the little flame adjuster a little bit just to clear the system. So the flame also stabilizes. And now you are ready to light. So we're going to come over to a lighter now that has a little bit of butane in it and we're going to go through how to purge it. What we're going to do is just like relieving back pressure, we're going to take our little screwdriver and we're going to push and hold and allow the butane to escape and you'll be able to hear it as you heard that there. Now we're going to continue holding it down until all the butane is released. Now purging the lighter is not only something that you should do before you refill the lighter, but also if your lighter has inconsistent firing, the flame sometimes disappears, that could mean that you have some air bubbles within your actual reservoir, and you can resolve that by purging and refilling your lighter. And a lot of times it'll help the overall performance of your lighter. And you're gonna have to do this a couple times allow the pressure to build up until basically you get no no air that escapes when you push down on the valve. All right, we are completely empty. And then once you, you empty out the tank completely, you will fill it just like I showed you in the other video and your lighter is completely purged and run through the same set of procedures. Okay, now this would not be an informative video if we did not show you one of the common mistakes of basically what not to do. Now, some people don't fully cover the valve with the butane nozzle before pushing or they don't push straight up and down. And in that case, you are not going to fill your lighter and the butane is just gonna kind of leak out in and around the lighter and the outside lighter. So somebody who's not filling it properly would be filling it at an angle and that would not be the right way to fill it. You have to go straight up and down. It's covered. You see there's no leakage. You just hear the butane going into the reservoir. Guys, I hope that this video was informative. Thank you for watching. This filling procedure can also be applied to our dual torch models. For all of our other cool products and lighters, make sure to go to www.dissum.com. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. And when you are using your Dissum lighter, make sure you are doing it safely. The lighter you could light up or light down.